I'm Eleanor and I'm the hair and makeup artist for CCTV. Hi, I'm Natalia and I'll be styling Coco today. And together we'll be showing you to get the look for your favourite chocolate box girl. So this is Bobby who won the reader competition playing Coco for CCTV. And um, we're going to do her look today. She's quite eccentric, tomboy, so we're doing quite a natural look as well. Uh, so we're going to start with, to get rid of a little bit of shine as a base underneath the foundation. So we're going to start with a little bit of shine killer. So we'll just put a little bit, mainly on the T-zone area. So you can apply with fingers, but I'm going to apply with a brush today. So just mainly on the forehead, down around the nose area. and then on the chin. And then we're going to start with a little bit of concealer just under the eyes. Again, just applying with the brush, just a little bit. Look up for me. Okay. And then we're just going to do a tinted moisturiser, same as the other sisters, so that she's still very natural. It's not major coverage. I'm going to apply this today with the sponge, so it's another technique for you. And just dab a little bit on. And just spread it around the face. Just put a little bit over the eyelids. And it helps to stop any eyeshadow creasing. and helps it to stay a little bit as well. And evens out any redness on the face. Okay, so once we've finished your foundation, um, I would normally put some powder on, but as it's mattified the face already quite a lot, I'll just put a little tiny bit on her nose. So you can just use any powder. Try and get one that matches the skin tone or translucent. And just a little bit to stop any shine. And we're gonna do for your cheeks, we're gonna do quite rosy, it's tomboy, so uh, you might be a bit active or, you know. <laughs> So we make you look a little bit flushed cheeks. So just gonna use a little bit of a pink and just smile for me. And for your eyes, we're gonna do again, really natural, probably quite a sort of a skin tone shade, a beige tone, I think, to keep it quite natural. So it is a really natural colour, so you can't really notice it that much on the skin, but it just gives a tiny hint of colour. And then for Coco, we're not going to do any lip gloss, but we'll probably just put a little bit of lip balm just so that she hasn't got any dry lips. And your lip balm, and rub together. Lovely. And that's Coco's makeup look. So this is Coco's hair look today and as her character's hair is a lot shorter we're going to give it a bit of a messy curl and back comb it a little bit so that it looks a little bit shorter and she will be wearing this lovely hat after as well. So I've just pinned her fringe back so it's out of the way. So we're going to curl the hair to make it look a little bit messy and we're just going to do it with straighteners so I can show you a different technique how to curl with these and then we'll back comb it afterwards. So if you start at the top of the hair and just give it one twist all the way around and really slowly put it through. The slower you pull the hair, the tighter the curl's gonna be. Just start at the top and give it one twist around and slowly pull the hair all the way to the bottom. And it'll give you a nice little curl. And just work your way around the whole head. Take another section, quite thick sort of inch sections around the head. Spray again with quite a bit of hairspray. Just continue curling round.
And for each part you do, spray it over again, just so that it really gets the product in to back comb it afterwards. And then we'll start with the, the last little bits now on top. I'm gonna spray it quite a lot this bit so that it gets quite a lot of product so that it gets all nice and rough for afterwards. So now you've done all your curls for the hair. It looks all lovely for now, but we're going to backcomb it. <laughs> but don't worry, backcombing is safe. It's not going to rip your hair or anything. We can also put some product in it just to make it a little bit sticky and a bit more texture so that it's easier to mess it up a little bit. Just rub between your hands. I'm just gonna lightly put a little bit through the hair. It looks like you've got a lot on there, but you're going to brush it all through and sort of scrunch it in the hair. I'm going to section the hair just in two to back comb it. So just really roughly take the top bit up. Just get that bit out of the way. So you just take a brush a little bit like this one and just start sort of midway and just brush it upwards in little sections see it starts to look really messy and it sort of shortens the hair a little bit as well for her character and quite big chunks just work your way around and push it all up and then do your second section I'm going to give it a spray once again just to make it a bit tougher. And again, just brush up, especially at the ends to get that sort of fluffiness at the bottom. So she's nice and messy. <laughs> And then we're going to pop on your hat to get the final look. So if you can just hold the front for me. Cool. Oh, there you go. Just that little there. Let me pop your little hat on. And there we go. That's Coco's tomboy look. Hi, I'm Natalia and I'll be styling Bobby today who plays Coco. Now as we know, Coco's a bit of an outdoorsy girl, she's a bit of a tomboy. She um, describes herself as a bit of an eco warrior. So her look is very casual, very comfortable. And the main key piece of her look is this cute little panda hat. She loves animals. So that's the key piece. And the rest of the look is just very comfortable, very casual. So all the tones are very muted, sort of earthy colors, greens. And then we're adding the little check shirt just to make it pop. And the denim, again, distressed, ripped, so not too neat, but that's not her look. And then moving down onto the shoes, again, we're following through with this sort of workwear style. She loves being outdoors, so she needs something comfortable, something she could get mud on them. Because Coco's a bit of a tomboy, her look is very minimal, and she doesn't really accessorize that much. She's just got this cute little bracelet, and it's a little novelty bracelet from New Look, and uh, it's got a Noah's Ark on it, so that really, really relates to her character and her love of animals. So something else that Coco would wear. And um, here we're trying to incorporate a big trend for spring summer 13, stripes. So this would be sort of Coco's take on this trend. So it's stripes, but it's not as neat. It has this ombre dip dye effect on it. So that kind of reflects her personality. And again, I think she'd wear that with sort of distressed denim, something like that. And another look, again, Coco's all about comfort. So very organic fibers, leggings, jerseys, cottons very comfortable. Again, these are very popular for next spring, summer, Aztec prints. So something like that with a nice casual slouchy t-shirt. It's got this nice little pocket detail. I want to show her love of animals, so she's got these cute little owl socks. So that would be a nice look for her just to be around the house or something. So because it's summertime and Coco loves being outdoors, very, being very active, she'd probably wear a couple of vests, something like this. Again, very trendy with the striped trend. Um, 
and then she'd probably wear them with some jeans, a bit of a, a distressed sort of wash, nothing too neat, that's not her look. And that's how you get Coco's look.